How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade, and today I am in Kentucky. More specifically, I am at the Jefferson Davis birthplace, okay? Now, what's really cool about this is that it is a monument that was built oh, a little over 100 years ago. It was partially funded by the UDC, but the UDC only contributed. It wasn't them driving the effort. And like my last Confederate monument video, this is a site that has historical value. Now, if you look at the sign behind me here, you can see that he moved when he was an infant, so he wasn't here very long. But nevertheless, this land was owned by his family. Let's take a look at the monument. Now, like I said, he was only here for a short time. His father did own this land, and you know, this is big farm country around here, okay? You know what they grow here? Tobacco. Now, other places, you know, go further north, it's a lot of corn, but here in southern Kentucky, it was a tobacco-rich area. Now, why was Jefferson Davis and his family here? Well, his father wasn't a farmer, per se. He was more of an entrepreneur. That's a hard word to say. And what he did was he and his slaves, you know, just be clear, you know, they owned them, you know, they cleared the land. They went through, they took out all the timber, they dug up all of the stumps, made it good farmland. Now, what that did was by putting in the work to clear the land, they could then rent it or lease it out at a much higher cost. One of the families that actually took them up on this offer was the Hefner family. And I know it's hard to see from back here. Side note, I was here earlier and made a video when they were open and the audio didn't record. I'm back here today and they're closed. That's why I can't get over this fence right here. But I can tell you that there is a family burial plot back in this area here. Hopefully you saw a little earlier. That family was the Hefners. They are the next family in the line of ownership to lease this land from the Davis family. Now, what they did was grow tobacco and all. Davis left. You've seen my other videos on Davis from the Confederate White House or his capture site. That's a whole issue. But really, what I'm pointing out today is this monument over 300 foot tall this obelisk now you, you visit kentucky you, you need to see this. this is southern kentucky you know it's not too far from the tennessee line you can visit the museum the rangers that work here in the state park are incredibly knowledgeable there is some really cool stuff here like check out this picture That's me holding Jefferson Davis's walking stick. They have so many artifacts to tell the story of Jefferson Davis. Like, for something I didn't even know, is that Jefferson Davis and his wife, Verena, actually adopted an enslaved boy, a five-year-old. Verena was going through town. That enslaved boy was a five-year-old named Jim. They went through the process of freeing him and then adopting him. He became Jim Davis. And something that the ranger added to my story that I didn't know was that when Jefferson Davis was captured in South Georgia, Jim Davis was also arrested. Now, nothing ever came of this. No one knows what happened to him. He just disappeared. Never heard from again in history. Now, if you know anything about Jim Davis, drop a comment. Let me know because I'm so curious. I've been trying to find some. haven't found anything yet. So as of this recording, I don't know. But if you can find out something, let me know. But, like you see, history is around. You can look it up. You can find it. All you gotta do is do a little driving now, okay? So any other questions, comments, drop them below. Hit that like button, subscribe for me, and I'll see you next time.